When I was growing up, my dad always had some slip joint pliers nearby. They're very small and compact, but they're also very capable. So the question is, is a $5 pair of slip joint pliers just as good as the pair that costs $35? Well, let's find out. In the first test, we'll see which pliers offer the best grip on a bolt. Then we'll see which one cuts nails the easiest. We'll see which pliers experience the least amount of wear. At a price of $5, the least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Harden. All the pliers we'll be testing, except for the van pliers, are eight inches in length. Claw with teeth, not easy to slide. Comfortable ergonomic dipped handle. Drop forged carbon steel. The Harden brand is made in China. The Harden brand weighs 242 grams. Let's first test the gripping strength of the pliers using this test jig I put together. After I place the bolt inside the jaws of the pliers, I'll adjust the handle clamp bracket to right at 2 inches. At 2 inches of spacing, the clamps will apply very close to 100 pounds of squeezing force. I'll be using an electronic torque adapter to measure the grip. And the $5 hardened pliers are off to a good start at 72 inch pounds. At a price of only $6, the second least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Olympia Tools. Hardened and tempered drop forged alloy steel construction. Polished finish and double injected cushion handle grips. The Olympia Tools pliers are made in China. The Olympia brand is a little bit heavier than the Harden brand at 275 grams. And the Olympia pliers lost grip at 55 inch pounds. At a price of $9 is this Irwin Vice Grip brand. Constructed from durable nickel chromium steel. Right angle teeth grip on all directions for maximum bite. Machine jaws for maximum gripping strength. Induction hardened cutting edge stay sharper longer. The Irwin brand is made in China. The Irwin is by far the heaviest yet at 323 grams. And the Irwin did the best yet and moves into the lead at 75 inch pounds before it finally lost grip. At a price of $10 is this Cobalt brand. Drop forged chrome nickel steel. One piece rivet design eliminates retightening. Over molded comfort grip. The Cobalt brand is made in China. The Cobalt pliers weigh 292 grams. And the Cobalt performed the same as the Irwin at 75 inch pounds before letting go. At a price of $11 is this Channel Lock brand. US forged steel. Serrated jaw and pipe grip designed for firm grip. Reliable permalock fastener. High carbon forged steel, 100% made in USA. The chin locks are the lightest yet at 220 grams. And the chin lock pliers moved into the lead with a very impressive 86 inch pounds. At a price of $12 is this Sonoda brand. Japan Industrial Standard Certified. Chrome plated surface. Maximum jaw opening, one inch. The Sonoda brand is made in Japan. The Sonoda pliers weigh 269 grams. The Sonoda pliers take the lead from the channel locks with a very impressive 97 inch pounds. At a price of $14 is this Crescent brand. Chrome plated finish. Resist rust and corrosion. Curved jaw with gripping teeth. Deeper wire cutter for better holding power and reduces cutting effort. Heat treated forged alloy steel. Non-slip grip. The Crescent brand is made in China. The Crescent pliers weigh 246 grams. The Crescent brand also performed well at 93 inch pounds and moves into second place behind the Sonoda brand. At a price of $14 is this Urea brand. Independent thermal treatment reinforces the tip area. The handles provide the necessary leverage for the most demanding work. We're going to test that. The Urea brand is made in Mexico. The Urea pliers are the lightest yet at only 216 grams. And the Urea brand let go at 62 inch pounds just ahead of the Olympia Tools pliers. Also at a price of $14 is this Tecton brand. The Tecton brand is made in USA. The Tecton pliers weigh 284 grams. The Tecton pliers perform slightly better than the Urea pliers at 64 inch pounds. At a price of $19 is this Stanley Proto brand. The Stanley Proto is made in USA. The Stanley Protos weigh 282 grams. The Stanley Proto performed even better than the Tecton at 69 inch pounds, but the Sonoda holds on to the lead. At a price of $20 is this Wild Tool brand. Flush fastener. Drop forts and heat treated for strength and durability. The pliers will last a lifetime. We're going to test that. The Wild Tool pliers are made in USA. The Wild Tool pliers weigh 274 grams. The Wild Tools brand moved into third place, finally letting go at 88 inch pounds. At a price of $34 is this Martin brand. Plastic grip, designed to cut wire. Flush rivet design allows close access to work surfaces in tight areas. The Martin pliers are made in USA. The Martin pliers weigh right at 300 grams. And the Martin pliers lost grip on the bolt at 66 inch pounds. At a price of $35 is this Van Pliers brand. Unlike the other brands, the Van Pliers are 7 inches in length. Ideal for stripped or damaged screw heads. The Van Pliers do not have a wire cutter. Ideal for screws or bolts frozen with rust. Ideal for any screw head with a special, unique, or tamper-proof slot. The Van Pliers are made in Japan. The Van Pliers are by far the lightest yet at only 189 grams. Having shorter handles really hurt the Van Pliers. They lost grip at 62 inch pounds. So the Sonoda Pliers came in on top at 97 inch pounds, but the Crescent did nearly as well at 93. The Wild Tool brand finished third at 88 inch pounds, Channel Lock 86, and Irwin and Cobalt tied for fifth at 75. Let's see how well the pliers can grip a metal roofing screw from the front of the pliers pliers, this time beginning with the Harden brand. And the Harden pliers lost grip on the screw at 13 inch pounds. The Olympia tools didn't perform quite as well as the Harden pliers at 10 inch pounds. 
The Irwin pliers perform nearly as well as the Harden pliers at 12 inch pounds. The Cobalt performed the best yet and moves into the lead at 14 inch pounds. The Channel Locks performed very well in the first test but lost grip at 8 inch pounds this time. And the Sonoto pliers are in a tie with Cobalt at 14 inch pounds. And the Crescent pliers really held onto the screw and moves into the lead at 15 inch pounds. And the Uri pliers lost traction at 10 inch pounds, the same as the Olympia Tools brand. And the Tecton performed nearly as well as the Urea, losing grip at 9 inch pounds. The Stanley Proto pliers performed very well, letting go at 13 inch pounds. The Wild Tool pliers lost grip on the screw at 10 inch pounds. The Martin pliers perform well, finally letting go at 12 inch pounds. And the Van pliers move into the lead with a very impressive 23 inch pounds. So the Van pliers with their unique jaw design came out on top at 23 inch pounds and the Crescent brand finished second at 15. The Cobalt and the Sonoda also did very well at 14 inch pounds. Let's see how the pliers perform cutting through a six penny nail. Once the pliers are clamped onto the holder, I'll slide the front piece with the two bolts towards the pliers. The two bolts will hold the nail in place against the cutters to allow for maximum leverage. The hydraulic press will be applying force to the very end of the handles. And the Harden cut through the six penny nail with 52 pounds of downward force. Unfortunately, the Olympia Tools pliers weren't able to cut through the nail. The cutters leave a gap that prevents the pliers from making the cut all the way through the nail. The Irwin pliers cut through the nail at 47 pounds and moves into first place. And the Cobalt performed nearly as well as the Irwin at 55 pounds. The Channel Locks performed nearly the same as the Cobalt, cutting through the nail at 56 pounds. The Sonoda continues to impress and moves into the lead at 44 pounds. The Crescent brand performed the same as the Irwin at 47 pounds. The Urea cut through the nail at 57 pounds or 13 pounds more than the leader. The Tecton performed very well, cutting through the nail at 48 pounds. Unfortunately, the Stanley Pro really struggled, finally making the cut at 108 pounds. The Wild Tool pliers performed very well, cutting through the nail at 47 pounds. The Martin pliers did well, cutting through the nail at 53 pounds. So the Sonoto came in on top at 44 pounds, and the Irwin, Crescent, and Wild Tool pliers came in second at 47 pounds. Let's move the jaw position to allow it to gain grip on a much larger and harder bolt than the one that was used in the first test. And a hardened brand let go at 134 inch pounds. To test rear resistance, let's hook up an impact wrench and run it for 5 seconds. Unfortunately, the teeth on the Harden experienced quite a bit of wear. And the Olympia Tools brand didn't perform nearly as well as the Harden at 113 inch pounds. Olympia Tools is on the left and the Harden pliers are on the right. The teeth on the Harden are a lot more pointed, which explains why the Harden performed quite a bit better. And the Irwin pliers moves into the lead, finally letting go at 158 inch pounds. The teeth on the Irwin held up about the same as the Olympia Tool pliers. And the Cobalt moves into second place behind the Irwin, losing grip at 135 inch pounds. And the Cobalt and the Irwin experienced about the same amount of damage. The channel locks move into the lead over the Irwin pliers, finally losing traction at 180 inch pounds. And the channel locks have really pointed teeth and they held up slightly better than the Irwin and the Cobalt pliers. Once again, the Sonoda pliers moves into the lead over the competition with a very impressive 219 inch pounds. And the Sonoda pliers held up the best yet, experiencing very little wear. The Crescent pliers also performed extremely well and moved into second place behind the Sonoda pliers. And the Crescent pliers held up nearly as well as the Sonoda pliers. Unfortunately, the urea pliers continue to struggle, giving up at only 99 inch pounds and moves into the last place. The teeth on the urea just aren't nearly as pointed compared to the other brands. However, they did hold up fairly well. The Tecton pliers performed fairly well at 143 inch pounds before losing traction. The teeth on the Tecton don't offer as much bite as some of the other brands, but they held up fairly well. The Wild Tool pliers performed the same as the Irwin pliers at 158 inch pounds. The teeth in the Wild Tool pliers held up really well. The Martin pliers performed better than average at 175 inch pounds. The teeth on the pliers also held up really well. The Van pliers performed even better than the Martin pliers at 177 inch pounds. The teeth on the Van pliers held up the best yet with very little wear. So the Sonoto came out on top at 219 inch pounds, but the Crescent brand performed very well at 196. The Channel Lock brand finished third at 180, Van pliers 177, and Martin 175 inch pounds. While wear resistance is highly subjective, the Stanley Proto, Wild Tool, and the Van pliers seem to hold up the best. However, the Snowda pliers performed just about as well. We previously tested the pliers cutting through six penny nails. So let's see how they perform cutting through a 16 penny nail beginning with the Harden brand. And the Harden pliers survived making the cut at 228 pounds. However, there's quite a bit of damage to the pliers. The Irwin pliers performed nearly the same as the Harden brand at 232 pounds. The cutters on the Irwin held up quite a bit better. And the Cobalt moves into the lead over the Harden, cutting through the nail at 206 pounds. However, the cutters on the Cobalt did experience more damage than the cutters on the Irwin. The Channel Lock pliers made the cut at 226 pounds and moves into second place behind the Cobalt pliers. The cutters on the Channel Locks held up really well. The Sonoda pliers performed very well and moved into second place behind the Cobalt at 219 pounds. The cutters still look nearly as good as new. And the Crescent moves into the lead, cutting through the nail at 203 pounds. However, the cutters did experience more damage than some of the other brands. 
Unfortunately, the urea pliers weren't able to make the cut and just bent the nail. The pliers have quite a bit of handle wobble after trying to make the cut, but the cutters are still in good shape. And the Tecton moves into the lead over Crescent, cutting through the nail at 168 pounds. The cutters are still in great shape. And the Stanley Proto cut through the nail at 225 pounds, but that's not enough to move into the lead. The cutters on the Stanley are still in great shape. Unfortunately, the rivet stretched on the wild tool pliers during the attempted cut, and the pliers weren't able to cut through the nail. There's a small amount of damage to the cutters. And the Martin pliers performed very well and move into second place, cutting through the nail at 178 pounds. The cutters on the Martin are still in great shape. So the Tecton pliers came in on top at 168 pounds, but the Martins performed nearly as well at 178. Crescent performed well at 203, Cobalt 206, and Sonoda 219 pounds. While damage assessment is highly subjective, the brands that perform the best include the Sonoda, Urea, Tecton, Martin, and the Stanley Proto. For $14, I really like the Sonoda brand, but I also like the Channel Locks as well as the Crescent. I like the Van pliers quite a bit, but they're also pretty expensive and they don't have a cutter. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and look forward to next time.